Hi everyone, my name is Lily Zhang and we're here today with another video of Meet Team Yola. So we're here today with Florent Lombiet. He currently plays for the Belgium national team and is the gold medalist of the Belarus Open Under 21 event, as well as a two-time finalist for the Belgium championships. So Florent, thank you for coming today and taking the time to join us. How thank are you? you? I'm fine with you. I'm good as well. It seems like you're one of the few players nowadays that has a backhand as a main service. Can you give us a little bit of insight as to why you choose to do this uh, more so over forehand? Okay, now I use a little bit less my backhand service because okay, I improved maybe a little bit better with forehand. And I think to mix both, it's a very good combination. Okay. Um, do you have um, any favorite drills or exercises that you like to do? No, I like to play basic exercise, like uh, regular to start and like 2-2 or something like that. Well, currently, Belgium has a very young core of national team players, including yourself, uh, Neutink, Allegro and DeVos. Uh, what do you think the energy and atmosphere is like with such, young, with such a young team? We, are, we know we are young and we have not so much experience, but we, we are building it, building it mm -hmm. and we Okay, we try to improve together and we always when I play for national team it's always nice to play and to fight for the team. Like uh, okay. Last tournament we played in Belarus and then we qualify for European games and what's a really good uh, goal for us. As with most athletes there are a lot of things you have to sacrifice. Um, what are some of the things that you miss most when you're training hard or in season? What I miss the most is family and friends and girlfriend also because <laughs> I don't live in Belgium. I live most of the time in, in Bremen, in Germany. So, okay, I like table tennis, but sometimes it's good also to be with friends and with family and things like this. Yeah, it's, it's definitely important to yes. have like a social life as well <laughs> yeah. on top of table tennis. Um, how has your family been with, you know, you traveling so much? Are they supportive or yeah, has the, it been difficult? Okay, when I was young, I was practicing like one hour away from my home and school, so they had to to drive me always one hour to go, one hour to come back. So I had, okay, at this moment they had not so much life, not so much free time because they was always with me. So they also sacrificed quite much for me, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, you must be really grateful yeah. for them. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the equipment that you're currently using right now and what was the process to finding the perfect fit for you. Okay, for the moment I play with uh, for blade uh, Yola Zelebro mm -hmm. and uh, with rubber Riser Pro 50. Um, okay, for me it was I tried this directly. Okay, I had few blades, but this one I like the most because of the speed and control and everything. Good combination for me with and also with the rubber. So okay, that's what I like directly. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone in your family play? And can you tell us a little bit about how you got started into table tennis? Okay, I think now in my family everybody is playing. Like my father was playing, my mother is playing, uh, my brother was playing also, but he was also, he got medal in European Championship in Kadehim team, but now he stopped. But okay, uh, when I was young, I was looking my parents in the championship in Belgium, so I wanted to start like this and then, okay, they see I started good and then I grew up like this and, and now I play, I make only table tennis. Mm. So how do you find having that, you know, table tennis family? Do you like it or do you find it a little bit difficult that everyone knows table tennis so well? Okay, for me it's good because I'm born in this and I'm used to it. I only know people who play table tennis actually, so... Okay, for me it's good, except sometimes so they want to give me advice and I know <laughs> <laughs> they are yeah. less good than me and so I don't listen too much, but okay, I think it's not so bad because they, they knew how to help me before to mm -hmm. how it's important to practice and everything like this. Yeah, that's good, but I can, I can understand you that it can be a little tough that, <laughs> you know, when your parents are telling you what yeah, to do. <laughs> it's sometimes a little bit boring. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any superstitions before any match, any rituals that you like to do? No, I okay. I don't think I have. I just make. Okay, I still don't know how it goes. But <laughs> you have to tie your shoelaces. Yeah, yes. yeah. I have to do it before to go in the court and again when I go in. I mm -hmm. still don't know why, but I have to do this. <laughs> it's just a ritual now. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of your routine. Yes. <laughs> okay. So last question. Um, why Yola? Because uh, they 
they feel it's good for me to improve and they help me like in my career so and I like this brand also so awesome Flora well thank you so much for coming here today to talk with us it was a pleasure and this was another video of meet team Yola and we'll see you guys next time bye don't forget to like and comment on the video and subscribe to our channel check the description for all our social media handles and stay updated on the latest and most recent news. Bye guys.